Mahui Katani. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Attorney General. What requirements must the Crown meet in rela relation to the burden of proof in the Marine and Coastal Area Takutai Moana Bill, and how different is this to former legislation in respect of how the full burden of proof falls on hapu and iwi? Mr Speaker, under Clause 105 of the Bill, if the Crown doesn't accept that customary title exists in an area, then the Crown has to prove customary title has been extinguished. This requirement is consistent with what the Court of Appeals said in the Ngāti Apa case. Under the current legislation, applicant groups have to prove the negative, namely that extinguishment has not occurred. The requirement is contrary to what the Court of Appeals said in Ngāti Apa and goes against the usual rules about burden of proof. Rahui Kautane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Attorney-General, what did the Court of Appeals say in the Ngāti Apa case which has led to the development of shared burden of proof? And can he name any other precedents in which Indigenous peoples have called for shared burden of proof and the law has responded? The Honourable Mr. Speaker, Mr. the Court of Appeals said that, quote, the onus of proof of extinguishment lay on the Crown and the purpose had to be clear and plain. I can't immediately recall any other precedents involving Indigenous peoples, but uh, I can recall or refer the member to a general affirmative defence, for example, a limitation argument under the Limitation Act 2010. Anyone wanting to argue that a claim is time barred has the burden of proving that that is the case. Rahui Katani. Thank you. Does he agree that the tests applied in the Takutai Moana Bill reflect New Zealand's experience better than overseas case law by incorporating tikanga? And how will this be achieved in a practical sense? No, well, Chris, Mr. Speaker, yes, I do. I think the tests better reflect New Zealand's experience because they do draw on both the common law and tikanga. In a practical sense, Clause 97 of the bill will allow the High Court to refer questions of tikanga to the Māori Appellate Court or to obtain the uh, opinion of a court expert on the question. Question number three, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. 